Hey guys, this is Stevex and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a lot, but when I say a lot, I mean it, a lot of money in Escape from Tarkov. So, the most obvious answer is Scavrans. And it's not just Scavrans, but it's a specific place that you're going as the Scav, and that's Factory. And I'll show you why in the video. I have uh, already recorded a run that I made and I approximately made around 300k just in 5 minutes. 5 to 10 minutes, I don't, uh, yeah, it's 9 minutes, the exact uh, time of the video with some uh, inventory management uh, and showing you the stuff that I took out of the raid with me so, first of all, let's start, as you see, I'm spawning with an AKS-74U which is uh, pretty much modded with a recoil pad on the stock and a weaver, I think, it was a weaver reflex sight why I am going uh, to the factory, I'll just start the video for you to be able to see why am I going to the factory because factory starts with a timer around 20 minutes I don't remember the exact might be 17 and uh, 30 seconds I don't pretty remember but it's around 20 minutes when you are playing as a scav you get inside at 14 minutes pretty much or less sometimes at 10 minutes I have in a, I have even got in eight minutes of the game so as you see I just spawned I'm going to uh, describe every part of the video, every move I make, every reason I make this move. As you see, I just uh, got camera bunker exit and the gate 3, which is the most generic exit uh, that everybody gets. So, as you see, I just got out to check if there's uh, any bodies, something. I just go to check the case. Uh, there's also a small window before you open the crate, so you have some time that you can crouch. As you saw, I found a handguard with um, a gas block for the AK-74 which is a pretty nice attachment, this one can sell pretty good or I, I personally uh, kept it in order to use it with my AKs I saw a body which had um, uh, an MP143 443, yeah okay, as you saw, actually as you heard, you heard gunshots what you want to do is to avoid combat only when necessary what you want to do is pretty much sneak around factory in its last remaining minutes most uh, people have already died, most scabs have already died, most people have already left but sometimes there are cases that not everybody has left and you'll see why you also will uh, notice other player scabs uh, be sure to kill them when you spot them uh, to, just to be sure every time I see a scav I kill it when I'm in factory uh, because most of the times around this time most players are uh, most calves actually are player scavs so they are going to shoot you if they get the chance to so as you see I am paying a little attention to the sound cues that came from the main building I hear some uh, footsteps above me and because I'm not pretty sure where they come from I decide to sprint uh, underground you'll notice the footsteps came this way probably so I'm just running because he has the upper uh, or high ground advantage and he can shoot me pretty easily down also this is the exit but I decided not to go there because I want to risk actually this is a risk free risk what I mean is that you will lose the loot that you got in the game but if you get out you get out with something special even if you manage to get out with at least two weapons instead of the one that you got in and you get two weapons, you can sell the one weapon and keep the other one for your, for a PMC run while the scav reloads. So that's pretty easy and uh, pretty profitable way to make money in Tarkov. As you see, I'm entering the building because this is where most uh, scavs are probably dead um, in the in factory. Most players and scavs uh, die there. You'll notice what I mean. Uh, as you see, I'm pretty much sneaking around, but when... Uh, I hear footsteps, gunshots, and it's pretty early in the game, I just sneak, I, it's not like I sneak, what I'm doing now is sneaking, I'm creeping, I'm pressing caps lock, making the lightest sound that I can make, like this, I just move the slider all the way down, so I make no sound cues, and I just keep moving, moving, and moving, as you see, I check my corners all the time, check my six, check my uh, surroundings, as you saw, there was a body there, it was looted, Oh, I just <laughs> moved it accidentally. Okay, yeah, here we are. I just want to move it a little because I'm creeping and it takes too much time and I don't want to waste all of your time. So, as you see, he has uh, a rig. 
So we already made some profit because we can use this rig. This is a pretty good one, cheap, but even if it comes for free, you can still use it. You can pretty much get a full kit for a PMC and also make profit by selling items to either the traders if you want to uh, level them up early in the game or you can sell it to the flea market and still make a good amount of money. So as you see, I'm just dragging pretty much everything. Mm -mm. Taking the army back there is stand of the teabag just because it has a, uh, a wider space but the slots are pretty much the same there is one less block in the army bag as you see i'm still creeping because i heard someone uh close before so i don't want to risk all you want to do is sneak in these remaining minutes and try to grab everything that you can before going out you will die sometimes but sometimes you won't and when you get out with maybe even three four uh, even six weapons i think I, I made it out with six weapons on me including pistols you can make huge amounts of money and if you also got some pretty nice consumables like uh, maybe a condemned milk which sells for 18k to therapist if you get a lab ski card like i got if you get morphines if you get uh, maybe there something like a, a tank bullet i don't rem uh, remember the name but it costs 60 a thousand rubles in the flea market as you see i'm checking here because sometimes there are things that spawn uh, that spawn in these cabinets and here you see a player he's moving he's a player scab i'm shooting at him but i thought there is a body actually in front of him and i thought it was him but i want a clear uh, sight so i thought this was a player first he starts moving i see him i down him and now i'm officially alone in the map he was probably the player that I heard, he was looting, he was a scav, he was doing the same strategy that I was doing. Actually, most of people know this, but if you're new to the game and you haven't figured it out already by yourself, because that's uh, what pretty much I did, I figured it out by myself. Uh, some players do not even think about going to the factory, it's a small map, too much PvP, but if you think it about it, the, the max people that can get in factory are 4 to 6. 4 to 6 players, no player scavs included. With player scavs, it might go up to 8, up to 10, who knows. But uh, the player scavs will come later in uh, the game. So, you just need to know your time. And you also need to make a good inventory management. Because as you see here, I have three, four weapons with the pistol on me. There's also an ADAR that I didn't retrieve in the end. I, You can play with the ADARs, but I prefer the AKs uh, because they have auto-fire. ADAR is like a... DMR kind of as you see the trick that I told you is making good use of your inventory space it just uh, always prefer the weapons that can be modded and take some things out of them while uh, they're not in your hands and you can actually make them use less space require less space than they already do like the AK as you saw there I could fold it also there is a Saiga that I could already fold and now I'm just discarding things that are not uh, going to give me enough money and I just put the Saiga in so right now I have AK-74S uh, AKS-74 I got the Saiga I got another TT pistol here I got two pistols already and I got my AK-74M and I'm also going to get one uh, more AK also found a lab ski card which sells for 150k rubles so we already have made a huge profit. And here you see there is a second AK that I was talking about. So I have uh, two, pi three pistols, one AK-74, as uh, AK-74S. I already have seven weapons on me. I'm going out with seven weapons, including the pistols always. Which I can either sell to the traders and make some profit or the flip market, or I could just take them and uh, use them as a PMC and uh, play, level up, quest a bit. So, the tip that I was about to tell you is that when you take the weapon in the bag, it's going to use 8 uh, blocks of space. But when you take out the hand grip, the magazine and the stock, they're just going to use 3 to 4 uh, blocks. So, this uh, in, with this way, you can... Uh, make use of less space, take more weapons if you don't have weapon cases like I, I don't right now and uh, 
pretty much you can have more weapons. That's the short uh, version. You can have more weapons and I do not uh, need the attachments because some of you might say, oh man, you just sold uh, all the attachments uh, that the weapon had. I was going to sell them either way because I uh, mod them from the beginning. I put a different stock, I put a different hand grip, I put a different uh, hand guard in front, I put a different uh, flash hider, muzzle brakes, uh, suppressors, whatever, uh, you name it. I put different uh, dust covers, so it's, it doesn't matter, I was going to sell them anyway. And I, oh, now for the magazines, at this moment I'm losing maybe some money, I haven't uh, thought a lot about it, but I make use of less space so I can have more weapons. And in the long run, uh, long distance, I think I make uh, a profit still, even after selling the magazines. I'm buying different magazines, maybe 60 rounds, so uh, it doesn't matter. Most of the times I'm buying 60 round magazines or 45 rounds. So, yeah, as you see, my uh, inventory is pretty crowded. got a lot of weapons in there. I also got an item skis, which is full of weapons. And, uh, yeah. That was it. Pretty simple, making a lot of money. If you start and calculate uh, what I earned right now, you'll find out that there is a profit around um, above 300k. I'm not sure. Because if you take into account the backpacks, but the backpacks are not uh, so expensive, so it doesn't matter a lot. If you take the backpack uh, in a raid, it's actually still profit because you get a free bag uh, for your PMC. The uh, three pistols cost around 8k each, so we have 24 already. The AKs would cost you 38 to buy them, so uh, we got maybe uh, around 300k because the, the key card on its own costs 150. You got the pack armor, which costs uh, 20. You also got the arm, the helmet that costs um, what uh, 8,000 rubles. You got the rig that costs 17,000 rubles to buy it from Ragman level two. So even if you can't buy it from uh, uh, the Ragman and you're going to buy it from the flea market for 13, 14,000, it's still profit. So in order to conclude with this video, I want you to know that by going to the factory as a scav and waiting until the end of the match and at its dying moments everybody's dead or has already left and you can take advantage of it and start looting everything that you can carry. You can either keep them, play with them in a PMC, which is uh, I do, I won't sell the AKs, I have already sold the pistols, the Saigas and uh, uh, I have kept actually the three AKs, the 74Ms, the two of them, and the 74U. I kept these three AKs because these are my favorite weapons and these are the weapons that I use mostly. So I still made profit. I have three weapons for three raids. Even if I don't die and I can uh, keep them, it's still three weapons. Even if I die, still, I have played uh, three raids just for free by using a scav. So scav is important. Play as a scav, earn money. That was it. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, please subscribe if this video helped you to uh, get access to more of my content that's about to come and get notified when I upload something like this. And uh, be sure to like the video, comment if you have an alternative way uh, of making money and I can make another video about it. If I think that it's uh, maybe profitable in a, in a way, I can still make a video and show it to all of you guys. So, thanks a lot, uh, keep calm and reach for the exfil.